Looking for answers in a hole in the ground. Workers in the high-security Gilboa prison discover the toilet floor escape hatch used by six prisoners who crawled to freedom in the early hours of Monday. Just outside the prison walls, directly beneath a watchtower, the other end of the tunnel. This prison service commander says most of the escape route was actually in an underground cavity, already part of the prison structure. The circumstances are remarkably similar to those depicted in the classic movie The Shawshank Redemption. The cramped tunnel painstakingly dug with a small tool, in this case reportedly a rusty spoon rather than a rock hammer. Social media users drew the Hollywood parallels, some mocking Israeli Prime Minister Naftali Bennett. Israeli security forces have launched a massive search for the six fugitives, four of whom were serving life sentences for their involvement in attacks that killed Israelis. The prison is just five kilometres from the West Bank. It's suspected the men may have crossed the frontier or even the border with Jordan before the alarm was raised. The brother of one of the men, Zakaria Zubaydi, was released from the same prison two months ago. I never had a feeling that my brother was planning an escape, he said. Zubaydi is a former militant leader with the Al-Aqsa Martyrs Brigades. He was awaiting trial. In Gaza, some celebrated the escape, perhaps as much for the embarrassment to Israel as for the actions of the prisoners. This Islamic Jihad leader pleaded with the West Bank-based Palestinian Authority not to help in the search. Earlier this year, Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas resumed security cooperation with Israel and he recently restarted high-level talks with the Israeli government for the first time in a decade. This prison escape presents the unpopular Abbas with a dilemma as he tries to balance Israeli relations with the approval of voters. Redmond Shannon, Global News, London.